Today was gonna be a hiking video, yeah! We was gonna head to Bruns Woods, Batesville, Indiana, and take a hike. But other things kinda came up. Guys, I'm up here at urgent care right now. Yeah, I had to come to this urgent care instead of the one close to me because my wife don't like the one close to us, so we came out to this one. And the reason we're here is because of my son. He basically injured his foot. Let me tell you the terrible luck my son's going through. He just got over COVID, then went back to work, and his first week back to work, he injures his foot, and then tries to work on it. And last time when he got off work, he was limping really bad. He could barely walk on it. So I said, son, I don't give a damn. You're going to urgent care the next morning. Yeah, at least get it looked at. But guys, let me show you something. Can't really tell in the parking lot I'm in, but we got hammered on. This isn't really snow, this is all sleet. Well, maybe mixed with a little bit of snow, but mostly sleet. Now I want to walk around here and show what was up and what was what, but my daughter's with me and she don't want to get out and walk. So we're going to try to make something out of today's video. We're hoping we don't have to go up to the emergency room and get x-rays. Their x-ray machine here is down. And the reason I'm not in there because I don't do doctor's offices or hospitals or anything like that. No, my anxiety won't let me. But if need be, I will bite my anxiety in the butt and do it anyway. But Angie's in there with him right now. So I guess Elizabeth and I are gonna sit back here and pick on each other until we figure out something. <laughs> we'll try to bring some type of video for you today. If everything goes well, we still might be able to do a hike yet. It's two days later from when I made my last vlog entry. And what I'm getting ready to do, what am I thinking? Why am I doing this? Guys, let me try to do what I'm going to try to do. Then I will videotape what's going on. It has been one hell of a roller coaster. Let me go ahead and just try this. I gotta at least try it. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, right off the bat, I hope the GoPro don't start freezing up. It's about 17, maybe 18 degrees. And I'm doing my walk. Yes, my butt is kicked already. I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, first of all, let me get back to what you guys seen the other day. My son, Damien. We thought he, uh, he uh, either sprained his foot, his ankle, or broke it. So we took him to urgent care. They sent us up to the hospital to get x-rays. Uh, the x-rays came back. There's no broken bones, thank God. But they still want to know what's going on and why he's having so much pain. So we have to go see a bone doctor <clears throat> or a foot doctor in the next couple days. So... Uh, now where I'm at right now, down here, I'm in the valley. Here, I'm gonna swing around, show you, instead of turning the GoPro around. And all the exhaust from them semis come down in here. As you can hear one going by right now. And a lot of times when the exhaust comes down in here, it fills the air and you can barely breathe. So not only I'm walking, I'm also getting stoned by the exhaust of the semis. This has been one heck of a messed up week, y'all. Uh, I'm going to come clean and tell you, we went through, we had some COVID in the family. Then once the COVID got better, uh, work things started, and then my son, we, think he, we thought he injured his ankle. And before all that, Mother Nature decided to dump on us. Mother Nature dumped a half an inch of ice, about five inches of sleet, and about three to four inches of snow, which made this place a nightmare. My whole area a nightmare to drive on. I have not been able to get a walk in quite a few days because of this. But today I said no. I'm coming out here and I'm gonna wear my hiking boots and I'm gonna try to get my walk in. Don't you guys ever do what I'm doing. It is very dangerous. <coughs> and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. Most of the stuff I'm walking on is about maybe an inch of ice, maybe two inches of ice, and snow on top. With my hiking boots, 
I am getting traction through this long side. But up on this side, that's all ice, and especially right over there. Let me show you. Now all up through here is the chunky ice, but I'm getting traction on it. But that's not the answer up here. That's not, that's not the same. Let me show you where it gets really bad. And yeah, as you can see, it's all the chunky ice. I'm trying to stay away from that part. I'm walking over here. As you can see my footprints, <laughs> me doing laps, but up here, that's the danger. Okay, when I get up to this part, I gotta go around this way to walk through this. This is ice. This right here, I probably won't fall and break my neck on, at least I wouldn't think. At least I don't think I would, but I'm still walking around it. But this part up here, I dang near fell three times already walking through this. And this time we're gonna walk through it with the GoPro on. So if I fall, you guys get to fall with me. But I'm lucky I got the fence here that I'm grabbing a hold of as I walk through. Now, over on that side, that's all danger right there. Right here, no, that's danger. Right here's danger. Right here is nothing better. So I'm grabbing a hold of the fence, as you can see, right here. And I'm walking through real slow through this area. I've already about bit the dust three times or four times already. Okay, now that I'm coming out of it, I slowly walk, because this is all still bad. Slowly walk. Okay. Now the straightaways, they have pretty much got more snow on the top of the ice. So I'm getting traction for the most part here. It's just the side cuts. I'm not getting any traction on at all, Harley, especially the one I just went through. <laughs> but I've not had a walk, you know, in quite a few days. What I'm doing right now, I could have done later in the day if I had the time, but I don't. So it's about 17, 18 degrees, let's say 18, maybe 19. I don't know if the sun's out, I can't tell. <laughs> I'm wearing my hiking boots, not my walking shoes. My walking shoes will not do. My walking shoes will not do on this. Now last year when I was at the city park, I walked to some really bad bad ice and snow over there yes i did but what was going through me or what was going for me at the park was i knew the terrain i knew exactly where it would be bad where because doing it so many years here i don't know i know the terrain but not as much as i did over there and plus the junk i'm walking on now no this is way more dangerous than it was last year but I got to get out here and get a walk in. Now, I'm not going to be doing my full walk, obviously. I'm hoping to get a little bit over half. <sighs> I got one more lap to do to make it over half. The reason I'm not trying to do my full walk in is, one, I'm in the hiking boots. And believe it or not, they do hurt your feet. Hiking is different than my everyday walks. Hiking, I take my time like I'm doing right now. I should be doing this the whole time anyway. <sighs> and plus, I, I do stop and get the beauty shots here and there. Plus, I do take little breathers because I don't use my hiking for a workout, which it is a workout. I use it more to cleanse my soul. So with the hiking boots on, I don't want to overdo. Only thing I can do is hope Mother Nature warms up, which is going to in the next couple of days and maybe to melt us down. I do have another place I could walk. The other place I could walk is over at Waterway Park. The laps are much shorter, so if I fall and got injured, I could possibly crawl to the car. Yeah, them things go through my mind. Here, the laps are gigantic. Let me turn around. <laughs> The laps are humongous here. That's also why I like walking here, mostly because you get big, wide laps. But I should be walking waterway, which has still got as much yuck on it as this does. But the laps are shorter, and if I was to fall and get injured, I could possibly crawl to the car if I hurt myself real bad. Here, I, I, I have to get on the cell phone and get help because way over yonder there is a long way from my car right there. Yeah, I'm hoping a little Sparky can make it out of here too. I had to come down a hill. That was ice. All right, guys, 
Right now we're gonna take for a second breather, no longer than maybe four seconds. Then we're gonna try one more lap. Okay, this is how I do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't allow myself any more breathers than that. That's enough to reset my system. Believe it or not, it does. It works sometimes. At least I think it do. No, I couldn't do this yesterday because it was way more dangerous then. And obviously the day, oh, I just slid right there. Yeah, you gotta be careful because underneath all this white junk is that ice, man. And that ice is unforgiving. Now this ain't gonna melt down for a long time. At least at the uh, waterway park, it has cars driving on it and it does melt down some of it. And I'm slowing down because I just slid back there. So I'm gonna be cautious. This, no cars are allowed on this. It's just a walking path for people, and they sure in the hell ain't gonna come down here and scrape it. <laughs> uh, but with the snow being on top of it, it does make it a little safer to walk, except over yonder there. All right, guys, I will talk more right when we're almost to the car. I'm gonna go ahead and kick in. I can't go too fast, by the way, that's the other thing, too. I can't walk my normal speed. Because remember, I don't want to hurt my feet when I do go back to my walking shoes. So I can't use my hiking boots for speed walking. Well, you wouldn't want to speed walking this shit anyway. Sorry about the language. <laughs> it's just that kind of mood I'm in right now. Oh, all right. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Then I will explain why this video was the way it was or the way it is. Something like that. Okay. I'm getting ready to go through the danger side again, but listen. I like the sound of the crunch. Yeah, I should be, I wish I could be walking faster right now, but it's too dangerous. But I love the sound of that crunch, y'all. I do. Uh, okay. I see when we get closer to the car and I'll tell you some stuff. We're gonna get a little personal if that's okay. Am I even on here? I can't even see myself, tell you the truth. It's all fogged up. If you guys are fogged up, I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna slow down for a slow walk back to the car. Okay, the series of low-key videos, I don't like to do that because I like my adventures. But guys, with my kids having COVID and with Mother Nature dumping on us, I wasn't able to pull off any adventures whatsoever. Of course, with my kids being sick, I my place was at home and also I was exposed myself. So just to be on the safe side, I had to make sure I was okay. Yes. The scare we had a week or so ago <laughs> that wasn't showing up on results was what we thought it was. You know, it finally started showing up. I'm okay. I never did get it. Neither did my wife and neither did my daughter. But my boys did. Big time they did. They're better now. Only for my youngest to go back to work and injure himself. <sighs> and Mother Nature dump his fury on us. And guys, the way I look at it is, I'm looking at it from another view because you have to. First of all, I tell you what, let me tell you when we get up around the bend. Hey, the sun's out. Okay, for everything that we went through is a recipe for depression. It is, but you can't let your mind go there. First of all, we did not lose power. Second, we had food in the house for, you know, because we got stranded for a couple days. Third, Damien did not break his ankle. No, there's no breaks there. They still don't know what's going, causing the pain, but still, there's no breaks there. And many, many more. You know, you gotta look at things a different way. And when we went to go pick the boys up from work, on the worst night of all, when this junk was coming down, we made it. It was not easy, but we made it there and back, safely. You know, you got to look at it this way, you know, and this is the way it is. A lot of people, and I can see myself doing it so easily, and you look at the bad sides, but you got to think what the, what the good are, man. I'm very thankful we didn't lose power and we had food. A lot of people did, and this area alone, over 15,000 lost power 
Our lights uh, twinkled a little bit, but we never lost it. So guys, oh my gosh. Uh, it's gonna be a couple days before I pick up the camera again. There's that work thing and everything. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a venture in. By the way, I couldn't get a venture in if I wanted to. They closed down the state parks and everything. The trails were too dangerous. <laughs> but we're gonna try to get a venture in. We're gonna see what mother nature holds for us. But if I gotta do a lot of low keys like this, understand. My ventures ain't going nowhere, man. They ain't, they're not. It's just I'm only human and I can only do so much. And right now, the most important thing on my mind right now is my wife and my kids' well-being and my walking right now. Because I missed too many days and I gotta get out here and do what I gotta do. Well, I did what I said I was gonna do today. I am four laps shy of my normal walk, but I'm not gonna overdo with hiking boots. So guys, until next time, thanks for understanding. Uh, this is about as personal as I can get. Maybe in the next video I tell myself to shut the hell up and show much beauty in the woods or the forest. So until next time, come on, let's get out of here. I gotta make a thumbnail. Actually, I gotta make two thumbnails, yeah. For a video coming up for you all here soon, I have to redo the thumbnail because it didn't come out. Yeah! <laughs> we'll catch you hopefully on the next adventure. Thanks for understanding, y'all.